part of what we're talking about is the journey. We're all on life's journey. We don't know it because we mastered it. You mastered advertising a million years ago, but you are it using wasn't many two million. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, two years ago. Um, but you are taking that experience and you're building on it, and that's part of what. Can I talk about my mission a little bit? What I'm doing right now? Um, okay. Um, I don't have any of the credentials that they have. I publish my book myself. And you publish your last book yourself, right? So I want to hear about that story a little bit. But I started on a different journey. I worked in advertising and marketing and all over the world for big companies like Johnson & Johnson, Frito Lay, Carnation, Nestle, CBS Cable. Um, and about three years ago, here in San Antonio, I, I started teaching at Texas a and UIW. And I taught marketing and branding. And I was stunned to learn that these bright, talented students who were spending $120,000 in tuition didn't know how to get a job when they graduated in four months. So I went home and I wrote a presentation that grew up to be a seminar, that grew up to be a webinar, that eventually grew up to be a book to teach college students and early career professionals um, how to use the marketing and branding skills that I'm teaching them in class to market their most important things themselves. And that's how I started on this book. Interesting journey. Um, while I was promoting this book, I ran into so many people who came and said, could you help me, please? I've lost my job. I'm 55. I can't get an interview. I'm living in my car. I'm supporting my family off of food banks. I'm talented, and I'm credentialed, and I'm good at what I do, but I can't even get an interview. How do I do this? How do I break through this age barrier? And I became very aware of age discrimination in America. We try and say it's legal, but it happens everywhere. Um, and it's horrible. And we can change that. It's becoming aware of it. And part of my journey, um, it's interesting, I don't know if it's Tony Robbins um, who said, I think it is, or Russell Brunson who said, as you become an attractive character or a person of influence, you have three different roles. You start as a struggler. You're finding your way and you don't know what you're doing. Then you become a Sherpa. You found your way a bit and you're helping other people to get there faster and easier than you did. And then when you're at the top, you become the sage. You know everything and then you can teach people everything. Well, I started at the sage and today I'm doing it backwards, I'm the struggler trying to help my generation figure out what do we do when we grow up? Age, if you're 65 today, your life expectancy is 83. How are you going to support yourself for 18 years after retirement age? And what in the world are you going to do during those 18 years that's meaningful? So that's the mission behind my book. And it's interesting, I discovered that I could not even get an interview today for a job that I had rocked 20 years ago. I wouldn't even get an interview. And so many people are facing this. So I'm on a mission to change the way America hires, fires, and retires its most experienced workers. And that's kind of the mission behind my book. And we're each on different missions. And we're each writing in different genres. And we're each using this experience that we have to advance and to share with others. We want to give and to share with others. And I think that's so exciting to be here with you and all of us sharing our lovingly giving to other people and helping us in our challenges in life.